Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here, coming back at you with another What Sold video. This is for week 5 of 2021. Starting out with a Mercari sale, this little jelly cat bunny, sold for $13. Easter is coming up fast, and I have a feeling this is going to be an Easter present. This little guy is also Easter themed. It is, I think it's Sammy, the Squishmallow bunny. This little guy sold for $20 on eBay. So, and I paid, I got him in one of the garbage bag lots. So at this point, it's probably just pure profit, or he pays for the bag. This set of five Masters of the Universe figures. You can't see all of them because they're all pack prepackaged for me, just to keep them, just to make it easier for me to grab out of the bins that I put these in. It's easier to just pack them all together. It'll go in a box because these are, uh, you know, they might get damaged or whatever because they're supposed to, they're new in packaging. It's sold for $35. I paid a dollar each for these, so five dollars into thirty-five dollars. Sold this glove for twenty-five dollars. It's a catcher's mitt. I think this came out of one of the storage units I bought. I got a lot of gloves out of one. This one's actually in decent condition. The other ones I got uh, were in pretty sad shape, and I'm not sure if I'm going to try and sell them or not. I got some uh, what they call like body body glove butter, I think, or something like that. It's it's called some kind of something to help recondition the glove. I'm going to try that out in the gloves and see if it works or not. Might do a video on that. I don't know. <laughs> Sold this Olympic club hat for $27. This got this I got in the big lot of hats. Uh, I've made my money, like I've said, <laughs> way back on that. I paid $75 for probably 90 hats, and this one sold for $27. This one sold for $25. Whistling Straits. These hats have been really good to me. And that was garage sale at the end of last year. Someone was basically someone used to sell these uh at the courses. Uh these are all, you know, golf courses. And it's American Needle brand, which is a pretty good brand overall. But yeah, twenty five dollars for that hat, twenty seven for that one, fifty two dollars in hats. And then I also sold this D and Co. Denim and Company active clothing. Sold this lot of two, green and red color. These sold for seventeen. So that's it for Monday sales. Here are the Tuesday sales. Sold this Hotman Brothers Rail, Railbird Reunion puzzle for $30. I think I paid seven or eight bucks for this at Target whenever they had a Black Friday clearance on puzzles where everything was like half off for puzzles. Sold this set of Paw Patrol Mashems. I think I paid 75 cents for each one of these. Total of, I think, 13 of them maybe. Yeah, 13 if I do my math correctly. These sold for 50 bucks. Also on eBay, I sold 11 of these Tic Tac mixers. Flavor changing experience, watermelon changing to lime. Little Tic Tacs. And then on Mercari, sold this Lily the Lamb Squishmallow for $14. I think I got her at Dirt Cheap. Assuming it's a her for Lily. I got her at Dirt Cheap. And then I've had this forever. It's a Michigan Wolverines youth size uh, sweater. It sold for $13. I had it listed and someone sent me an offer of $13 and I took that because it's been listed forever, like I said. So some clothing, some plush, some candy, toys, and puzzles. All different kinds of variety for today. Here are some Thursday sales. Sold this little pastel rainbow bunny. Had rainbow on the tag. This came from a plush slot that I got from Donatello Olino. He sold for thirteen dollars. Sold this big English bulldog. I think that's what it was. Avanti is the brand. It's a vintage plush. I'm not sure what year it was from exactly, but it was a uh, maybe 1985. I think I picked it up because of the year, and it looked like there were some decent sold comps on it. That was on eBay. This came out of one of the first storage units I bought. The best storage unit that I've bought. <laughs> Uh, the one that had all the Tinkerbell stuff. If you've been following my channel, you saw the bigger stuff I sold that, sold that was Tinkerbell. This is a tiny little clock, uh, but it still had the tags with it. I did say it was used, and I don't think it was actually working, but it had uh, 75 years of Disney, and people love Disney, so that's why probably why it sold. These came out of the clothing storage unit that you saw uh, my most recent storage unit video. These two sold for $24.99. The clock sold for $24.50. And the best sale for today is these three Cypress Point Club hats came out of this hat, the, the big hat lot. These three hats sold for $125. Like I said, I paid $75 for the lot of like 90 hats. These three 
It's over $125. So between these three and the two you saw on the previous clip of this uh, video, pretty good return on my investment for sure. So uh, until the next weekend sales clip. Here are the weekend sales. Sold this t-shirt. I got it for a dollar uh, somewhat recently. Got it listed. It says, I may be wrong, but I doubt it. Sold for $17 on Mercari. These are Mercari sales right now. This Venom Pool Funko Pop sold for $20. Got this from a company called Pop in a Box. Uh, this was back when I was doing a lot of Funko Pop reselling. I got this guy. Pop in the Box is like a company, I think it's based out of Australia, but you could buy their pops and they would send them to you uh, relatively cheap. So I might have made a little bit of money on that, but pretty much breaking even. This Chase Funko Pop Hulk. I probably got it at Walmart for, I think, like four bucks. It sold for. 13 I think so getting my money back this little guy I've been talking about him uh, or talking about this style this Cane's Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers is a chicken company in Louisiana started in Louisiana it's now gone to a lot of different states a lot of y'all actually have it in your state probably but uh, it's a St. Patrick's Day plush it was a 2020 limited edition exclusive I paid a dollar 59 for it at Goodwill and it sold for $27. I love selling these little guys. <laughs> On my second eBay store, I had one sale. This shiny Deshaun Jackson silver mosaic card sold for right at three bucks. It'll go out in a standard envelope. Sold some cards on my main eBay store. I put them on there because I actually noticed that cards were free to list on that store right now so I figured I'd put some of the higher ones on there and get the feedback for them if people leave feedback uh, this is Cole Anthony the this set of cards is the Panini draft prism cards the ones in top loaders are color cards and the other ones are just regular base cards these sold for $39 at auction this is Aaron Naismith sold for $20 at auction just looking to get rid of some of these cards uh, and get some money back on the cards that, packs that I've opened. And then this lot, I started at $19. This is the one that for some reason, I guess he must be playing well or something. I don't really know. But Tyrese Halliburton, this lot went up to $86. I was very surprised. <laughs> uh, I think he's had some pretty good games lately, so that made his value go up a lot. But it's obviously a decent amount of cards, but still, 86 bucks. Sold these two. Sourced these recently. Uh, at a garage sale where I got Nintendo Wii for five bucks. I got these for 25 cents each, so 50 cents into these two. They sold for $23 on eBay. The Planes figures. If you see Disney Planes, and the reason you can recognize it usually by seeing the eyes right there, and then it'll probably also say something on the wings. You know, you can't be able to read that, but it says like, you know, Disney or something like that. Cars. Well, not cars, planes. These guys. They've only made one movie for Disney Planes, and as far as I know, they're not planning on doing another. So unlike the Cars movies where they've had three and all the different characters have gotten so many different uh, runs, these pretty much had one run, maybe a second run, and that's why they are so valuable. So if you see Disney Planes, you see planes with eyes on them, definitely check them out and look them up if you can. If you've been following my channel, you know I've uh, found some bread makers back in the day. I finally list parted one out. The way I was looking at it was... This sold for, I think, $25 on eBay. And the little baffles that are also in there sold, or I have them listed at like $30. The whole thing was going to sell for probably right at $50. So to me, it's a lot easier to ship these little ones. And most people recently have been parting these things out. Also, this is my e main eBay store. I think I said that. But this LSU Ping hat sold for $20. Probably paid a dollar or two for that. This Banff. I think that's how you say it. Banff Springs Fairmont Beanie sold for, I think, $14, and it's actually going international shipping, so I'm not sure where what's, what country it's going to, but interesting that someone would uh, pay that <laughs> and then pay the extra fees. I did sell a DVD. Every once in a while, I'll pick up some DVDs. I'll look at the new and packaging ones and look them up. This one is from 1988, The Beast. I think that's what it said when I was reading it. All of those people, Stephen Baldwin, George, however you say that name, J Jason Patrick. This sold for, I think, like $11, so a little bit of profit there. I probably paid 25 to $0.50 cents for this. Another Squishmallow 
This is Kyla the Elephant, I believe is her name. Her name. Twenty-five dollars. Some more Five Nights at Freddy's. Been listing them recently. This one sold for twenty-nine dollars. It's Cupcake. This one is Nightmare Cupcake. This one sold for fifty dollars. This was a GameStop exclusive, and it's, uh, it's basically the same character except for the eyes are different. There's a mouth, and the candle uh, color is orange instead of yellow. So this one's not even wasn't even exclusive, and it's going for basically thirty dollars now. So you see these at the store at a thrift store for a dollar. Definitely pick them up. And like I, I did a shorts video on these that I'll try to link below. But that's the correct version of them. There's also a lot of different uh, inauthentic ones that aren't official Funko products. People, I think you can still sell them. Don't quote me on that. But I think you can still sell them. But I, you're not gonna nearly get you're not gonna get nearly as much money if you don't have the exclusive or don't have the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, thing on the bottom. And some of the fakes will or inauthentics will say that on the bottom. It just won't look like that. It won't have the 2016 thing like that. Best sale. For the weekend was this uh, Stetson Mar Marlboro hat. This sold for $104. I've had this for a long time now. There's Marlboro Stetson. Had this hat for a while, but uh, I was waiting for the right buyer to come along. Someone sent me an offer of $104, and I was I took it. So that's it for sales for uh, the weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.